10 longest range EVs currently on the market. People are always talking about, can we make the cars have longer range? When you start talking really long range, you start talking big bucks. The Hyundai Ioniq 6 has a 361 mile range and they start at 37,500. At 400 mile range, you're starting at $75,000. Like you and I have talked about before, what we consider the bathroom distance is probably 200 miles max. So you, you've you got you know other issues other than you need to stop and, and charge. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. Uh, I'm back with uh, our founder and chief editor, Bill Moore. How's it going today, Bill? Hey, it's going okay. I had something I saw that I thought was interesting. It's the 10 longest range EVs currently on the market. It did not include the Lucid Gravity, but I wanted to kind of talk about this a little bit because this is interesting because, you know, people are always talking about, can we make the cars have longer range? Well, here's where, when you start talking really long range, you start talking big bucks. Okay, so th this so number ten was a Tesla Model X all-wheel drive, three hundred and thirty-five mile range. So that was the tenth longest of the vehicles currently on the market. Starts out it's at right at eighty thousand dollars. Okay, then above that was a Mercedes EQS SUV, three hundred thirty-nine miles, so four miles more. Starts at about one hundred and five thousand. So we're going from what twenty-five thousand dollars for four miles extra range. Yeah, yeah, about that. Yeah, if that was what we were comparing. Well, then at the same price, we have the EQS sedan from Mercedes with 352 miles. Now, it, it got another 13 miles of range, but it's still $105,000 to start. Now, here, here, this is the bargain unit. The Hyundai Ioniq 6 has a 361-mile range, and they start at 37500 that, that was by far the most affordable on the list. The Model 3 long-range real-wheel drive. So Tesla, normally the long range is usually an all-wheel drive, but they have a rear-wheel drive model that starts at 42.5, and that had 363 miles of range. Now, I know there's also a Model Y rear-wheel drive long range. They only sell in Europe. They don't sell in the United States, and it, it didn't make the list, probably because it's not sold in the U.S., then the next one was the Model S all-wheel drive, 402 miles. So it's the first one that breaks 400, and it started at 75,000. And that is also the cheapest 400-mile range vehicle. So at 400-mile range, you're starting at $75,000. Rivian R1S dual max, 410 miles, starting at $90,000. And that's the SUV. Then the R1T, the truck, dual max, 420 miles. So we get a little bit more, 420 miles on this truck for $94,000. Not done with trucks, though. Chevy Silverado, first edition RST EV, 440 miles. Wow. And it starts at 96000 Now, what's interesting is that's also the leader in towing. Okay, that's the EV leader in towing as well. Of course, that wasn't part of this article, but... Um, then the number one is a Lucid Air Grand Touring, 516 miles, and that can be gotten for $111,000. That's the only one that was over 500 miles, but that, that is a lot of range. Now, like you and I have talked about before, what we consider the bathroom distance is probably 200 miles max, Yeah, you know, and so you, you've got, you know, other issues other than you need to stop and, and charge. Yeah, you think about it. So the one car, that three hundred mile one, that would take us, that would take us basically, basically to Davenport, right? We could drive all the way across to Iowa, and a fair share of Nebraska, who went the other direction. With the five hundred mile range, you could pretty get pretty darn close to Denver from where we are right here in Omaha. Yeah, well, well, most charging is what you figure about a minute for about f adding about five miles of range. Um, well, you can get more than that. Maybe 10 miles of range per minute, most chargers, you know, depending on the situation, the car. All of these cars are going to charge pretty fast, okay? I, I think even the Ionic 6 probably does not have terrible charging speeds. It's not like the Chevy Bolt, which really charges slow, or the Nissan Leaf. I mean, there's a few of your cheaper EVs that don't charge fast at a... And, and, the, and the early generation, right? Because we were... We're still, I mean, we, 
you know, one of the things we could talk about is the fact that uh, the e there's articles coming. The Stanford research, for example, showing that uh, the EPA and even the car makers have been not testing batteries correctly, right? And and there, so the range of those, the range of the vehicles, in terms of operational life, and in terms of uh, you know just driving around on a daily basis, we're finding that those batteries are lasting much longer. I think it was what was the number? It was like eight? I think eighteen percent, something like that. Uh, longer range than uh, than what um, they had using conventional car testing tech, range testing technology, you know, used to determine the EPA mileage of a gasoline car. Uh, they've been using that same technology, and that that is not resulting in accurate. Um, it's been underestimating the capacity of those of and of abilities of those those batteries in an EV. Um, so we've. You know, that's just we're we're learning. It's taking us, you know, a time time back when the Volt came out or back when the uh uh you know, Nissan the first and Nissan Leafs came out. That was state of the art, but we've learned so much since then and we're continuing to learn things uh as we as we move forward. Well, I, I thought this with the um range was really quite interesting to see that uh, out of all of the vehicles, only the Model 3 and the Ionic 6 were under 50,000. Everything else with a lot of range. And that's part of the thing. You know, people ask Musk, why can't make a car with longer range? It's like, well, I could. I could stick a bigger battery in there, but the battery is the big cost on the car. Yep, 40%, 40 of, the, of the cost of the car is the battery. In, pra yeah, in, practical, in practical terms, you are going with a 500-mile range car for those odd times when you have to drive from Omaha to Chicago, right? I mean, there are people that have to, every now and then, have to do that for whatever reason. Um, yeah, then you're going to stop along the way a couple times and recharge, um, you know, and you're going to take you, you know, you know, maybe it adds an hour and a half, two hours to your trip. Uh, but then you still have to stop and eat. You still have to do the potty stops, right? Just get out and stretch. Um, so, but most of the time, probably 80, 90% of the time, that 500 miles will let you drive for a week, maybe more. Right. Oh, yeah, probably a lot more. I mean, most people don't drive 1,000 miles a month. So, you know, you, you'd be talking about, the 500 miles range on the Lucid might let you drive for two weeks without charging. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. If you like this video, then please press the like button. If you like the content and would like to see more videos on electric vehicles, then please hit the subscribe button. If you have some feedback for us, please let us know in the comments. Have a great day.